Hey all, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to share 10 incredibly useful Google Chrome extensions for productivity. With these extensions, you'll gain more focus, build better habits, make work or study more enjoyable and overall get more done. To help you navigate through this video and go to the relevant extensions that I'll be sharing in this video, I've listed it all in the description box below. So feel free to go ahead and check those out. First on our list is from our proud sponsor, TextBlaze. TextBlaze eliminates repetitive typing, so you don't have to go and keep typing the same words or the same emails over and over again. To demonstrate, I've got a new email open in Gmail. Let's say you wanna provide a list of your links, such as your website and your social media profiles. All I need to do, in my case, I saved a snippet called forward slash links, and that command will prompt that snippet and then pre-fill everything, saving me time. Or let's say you've got a meeting template that you regularly use. All I need to do in my case is do a forward slash meeting, and then that'll insert that template. Installing TextBlaze is really easy. Head to the Chrome Web Store, search for TextBlaze and you'll see it. Otherwise, use the link in the description box below, which will take you directly to this page. Once there, simply install it. Since I've already installed it, I don't need to install it again. You'll be taken to the dashboard where you can start creating your snippets. Simply hit the plus button, or you can go to the Chrome extensions bar, click on TextBlaze, and then click the new snippet button. If you don't see the TextBlaze button, I highly recommend you click on the extensions and then scroll to find text plays and make sure it is pinned. Select where you wanna add the snippet so you can organize it into personal work or create a new folder. I've created personal and work. Let's create this example under work. Now you can see the new snippet created. I can name this, let's call it demo. Now here's where you add the actual shortcut. So do you want it to be a forward slash a demo or it could be forward slash meeting or links just like what I have right here. Below that, enter the text you want inserted when that actual command is typed out. I've just typed in, this is a demo. To test it out, simply click on try it out and then type that command that we just created, forward slash demo, and now you can see it's been inserted. TextBlaze does even more with dynamic commands. Let me explain. At the bottom, you see dynamic where you can add the current date and time, do things like autopilot, which I'll explain, add forms, dynamic content and command packs. In this example here, I've got their first name. So when I go and reply to someone, it'll automatically add that person's first name. So whenever I reply to someone with forward slash meeting, I'll type it right here and I simply email myself, but you can see now it's already inserted my first name. Autopilot allows you to do even more after you've entered the command, such as placing the cursor at a certain location, click a current element, automatically press the tab key or enter key. In my case, I've entered the cursor. So the cursor should be after the hi right here. So let me demonstrate. Right here, I'll enter the command, which was welcome. And you'll see the cursor right there where I wanted it. Feel free to add and combine any other dynamic commands from the bottom. In terms of pricing, it is free for up to 20 snippets. And if you exceed that, simply upgrade to the pro plan, which gives you up to 1000 snippets. So go ahead and install TextBlaze today. I'll link it in the card right here and also in the description box below. The next extension on this list is called Default Google Account. This one's really handy, especially if you've got multiple Google accounts. In a nutshell, this extension helps you set a default account for things like Google Meet, Gmail, Calendar, even Google Drive. The extension sits right here and what you need to do first is sign in to those Google accounts on your browser and then you'll see it listed right here. So I've got three Google accounts. The first step is to select a default account for all Google services. This includes things like Gmail, Drive, your calendar and everything else. So by default, I'll just use this one. Next, you set some rules. Let's say you want to log in by default to your Google Calendar with this specific account. So I've got my second account right here and then you add the new rule and then it will sit under active rules. You'll see if I go to my Google Drive on my browser, it will actually log into this specific account. Whereas for my Google Calendar, it will log into this account. So you'll see when I go to my Google Drive, it's actually logged in to this specific account. And when I go to my Google Calendar, you'll see that it's logged into this one right here. I don't know about you, but I've always found it quite annoying having to go to the corner and then switch between different accounts. So overall, this is going to save you a lot of time from logging into those specific accounts for those Google services. Next up on this list is an extension by Google themselves, and this is called Picture in Picture. Here's an extension on the Chrome Web Store, and I'm going to demonstrate how it works now. Once you've installed it, let's say you're on YouTube and you wanna multitask and work on other tasks at the same time. You simply click the Picture in Picture extension, which sits right here, or you can enable it from the extensions and then make sure you pin it 
and then simply click once on the picture in picture extension. Now you see the video on the corner. What you can also do is increase the size or decrease the size and also drag it wherever you want on your desktop. And what I can do now is play the video while I'm browsing anywhere on the web. You can see that I'm on the actual Chrome web store and now I'm opening up my text editor and I can work while simultaneously watching a video. So it always stays on top. That way you don't have to go and hunt for it or try to find that video frame. This also comes handy if you don't have a second screen and you still want to multitask or for those in the States, multitask. This next one is quite a fun and interesting one. It's called Forest and it helps you stay focused by kind of making it a gamification. Their website explains it pretty well. Whenever you want to stay focused, you plant a tree. So the extension sits right here. By default, it is a 10 minute timer, but you can increase it to however many minutes you want. And you simply click the tree to start that timer. Now, when that timer ends, you can simply go to settings and you'll see the dashboard, including the planting record. And you'll see that your land <laughs> includes one tree that I've built. So this was a 10 minute session, but you'll see the more you work, the more trees will be planted in the forest. With forests, you can also block certain URLs. So once you start that timer, it will block that URL or list of URLs that you wanna block. So if you wanna make productivity a little more fun, go ahead and install forests so you can start planting some trees. Moving on, we've got another kind of timer extension, and this one's called Marinara Pomodoro Assistant. The Pomodoro technique is a time management system allowing you to break down bigger tasks into smaller chunks. Typically, it is broken down to 25 minute intervals with a five minute break in between. Once you've installed it, right click the tomato icon, setting the options if you want to do so. You can set a focus duration, 25 minutes is typical as mentioned. Set a timer sound if you want to do so. Set your break as well. And then any other options such as the notifications. Once you're ready to get some work done, simply click the tomato icon and then that'll start the timer as you can see with the 25 minute indicator. If you find 25 minute intervals quite short, you can up it to 50 minutes for your focus session while the short break to 10 minutes. Now here's another extension that's going to help you stay focused. This one's called Bro Focus, allowing you to play ambient background noises such as coffee shop sounds. I'll demonstrate right here. Here's the extension and then I'll play, let's say the coffee shop sounds. Or let's say Cuban beach. Or perhaps morning birds. Some other sounds include an Amazon forest, underwater, mystical nature, campfire, rain, waves, dusk in the woods, quiet city vibe, downtown Paris, and much more. So if it's noisy outside and it's distracting you, simply chuck a pair of headphones and then play one of these ambient background noises and you're good to go. This next extension is called Weaver Highlighter. It lets you highlight anything on the web, such as articles and blog posts, and then you can organize them into folders so that you can refer back to them and then refresh your memory on a particular subject. For instance, let's say you're researching about the Pomodoro technique, you can simply highlight whatever is important to you. And then you see the little color codes and you can set the actual folder where you want it saved. I've created one called productivity articles and now I'll choose a color code, I'll choose orange. Now you see what I highlighted right here. And with this extension, if you revisit the same page, I'll give this a refresh, the highlights will still remain. Next up, do you want to speed read through articles and even PDF documents? Well, there's a specific extension called Swift Read. Let me demonstrate how it works. I'll click the Swift Read extension and then I'll click on Swift Read current page. This window will appear and then what I can do is start reading or speed reading in this case. So it'll go through some of the main words as you can see right here. You can also set the target words per minute. So if it is rather fast for you, then you can decrease it to something like 100 words per minute. Set the number of words at a time as well. So let's say three words at a time. And this is what it looks like and changing the font size too, if that's what you want to do. This next extension is called Momentum, allowing you to open up a new tab with your personal dashboard. Here's how Momentum works. Whenever you open up a new tab, so I'll click the plus icon, you'll see the Momentum dashboard. So this can be customized such as the time and what you want this to say. You can also add a mantra. Below that, you see what is your main focus today? And let's say your focus is recording a new video. So we'll say record new video. 
And now every time I open up a new tab, I can see what the focus is for today. You can go even further by clicking on to do and add a list of to do's. I've added a few to do's right here, as you can see. And again, whenever I open up a new tab, I'll see my to do list right here, conveniently located on the dashboard. This next extension allows you to make any web page print friendly and in PDF form. It's called print friendly and PDF. Let's say you want to print this article. All you need to do is click the print friendly icon that sits at the top right here. In an instant, it's converted it into a print friendly version as you can see right here. From here, I can print right away, save it as a PDF and even delete any sections I do not want printed. For this demo, let's click on PDF. Now it's ready to download, I'll click on download your PDF. I've opened up the PDF and here's what it looks like, nicely formatted into an A4 size. All right, so there you have it, 10 useful Google Chrome extensions for productivity. I hope you got at least one extension out of this. Comment below which of these extensions you'll be installing after watching this video, I'd love to know. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and do stick around to watch these next videos.